All right, so we're checking out the only game that will sponsor me to do stuff inside of the game. It's Genesis Alpha 1, and that's that's real. They're um they actually sponsored the video. Yeah, they must not know. As various aliens are liquefied the background, I'll let you know that since I'm playing it, we're gonna go ahead and try and uh, do some things. I have some plans. Because you can play this game two ways. You can play it the right way, and you can play it the gray way. We're gonna play it the gray way. I'm gonna have a link in the description below if you wanna check it out and buy it or whatever have you. It's like a epic support a creator thing or whatever too. I don't know, I've never actually done it before. I think if you put in the, the gray still plays, I get like 5% or something. Listen, you don't have to do it, all right? You can just watch me break it if you want to. Anyway, let's freaking do this. Welcome everyone to the loading screen, otherwise known as MS-DOS. So you could watch a lot of different videos and see people like play through the tutorial and... Are you... What the hell are you doing? Are you eyeing me, boy? <laughs> that kind of stuff will get you renamed, buddy. There you go, congratulations, I've given you a real name. Oh, it's much, it's much less good than I thought it was going to be. You lost all your thrust. So anyway, my plan is to make the biggest, most ridiculous ship I possibly can and then go to the most dangerous areas in the entire game and try and get myself killed. You gotta understand, this game, um, this game could be pretty, pretty involved. It's got a lot of stuff in it. A lot of stuff like this. But there's a lot of other stuff too, like sucking people's DNA off the ground like a hoover, slurping it up and trying to make a new human soup with it. Welcome to our ship, this hideous beast that I have begun creating. You're probably going to see a lot of people make appropriate ships that are all like equidistant and have, you know, symmetrical sides and everything. But I want to be, you know, I want something different. Like, okay, so the idea is, is that, you know, our planet sucks and it's, it's all destroyed and we have to go and find new planets. How do you find a new planet as a human being? You kill everything that's not you until you're the only thing left. That's what humans are good at. So I figured instead of having like a legitimate, like, you know, a, a legitimate spaceship, I would build basically a giant flying slum. That's what this is. It's like the ghetto but it's space worthy. So part of the game, because it's like a roguelite survival space game, is you get to build any kind of ship you want using a ton of different parts you can research more. You're gonna notice over here that my hyperdrives are like on an intestinal branch at the top of the ship. Why? Because I'm an idiot and I didn't know where to put them, so I just threw them over there. Hyperdrives are the most important freaking thing in the game. Let me show you why. Let's say you want to get anywhere because you think you'd like to progress. Go over to the captain's chair, use the terminal, <laughs> boot up the... <laughs> Celeron 2 gigahertz processor or whatever it is. Welcome to the mother friggin map. Okay, so this is us. Normally you can only move one space in any direction. And doing that over and over again for the hyper jump made me want to fold the frisbee in half and try and shove it down my throat. Now with the hyper drives, look at how much crap we can go and see. Also, there's a Genesis candidate like right here. A Genesis candidate is where we're supposed to like make sure that everyone has tons of intercourse like exploits. I really don't know. Listen, it's where the Genesis DNA soup ends up so that we can rebirth the human race, all right? Got another Genesis candidate. This poor bastard has been clucking away at these keys for like ever. You're gonna notice he has he's never stepped outside. Well, I guess I guess we're in space, but I was just gonna mention how pale he is. Also, what is up with the technology in this game? <laughs> like, what why are we using computers from like 1982? I know there's a backstory to this. I just, I don't, I, I don't know exactly what it is. This is one of the lovely ladies that's on board, otherwise known as Clone F125. She's bald because we're also sponsored by Dollar Shave Club today. Dollar Shave Club. Because women like to shave their heads sometimes too. But yeah, so far our place has a little bit of everything, man, including at least three full liquor bars. I'm kind of curious how big the game will let me make the spaceship right about this big. Oh my god, it's hideous. Welcome to the slums, everyone. Hold on, we need a bunch of crew quarters here because we need enough crew to do the whole Genesis thing. I want to pack these cats like sardines, you know, like an apartment complex. You can have turbo lifts and everything too. Hell if I know how they work. Neither this is Genesis Command, nor my system programmer Dave, have provided me with information on this module. I suggest exploring it to learn more about its concept. Oh, all right. Was that is that because no one had written what it did at the time, or is this just like because they want us to explore the game? It's called the beaming station. I don't know. We'll put one down just because. Why the hell not? So you can beam from there, from one side of the apartment complex to the other side of the apartment complex. You can also go down in floors too. I never want anyone to be too far from a bar, so we'll put another one down here. Okay, so I'm. Um, <laughs> 
This is the ship so far. You don't really understand how big it is until you try and walk through it. Welcome everyone to the lounge. This is where you can get your, your space Jack Daniels on and whatnot. Humanoids access bars and lounges when they feel lonely or when they are looking for relief. What kind of relief? I'm the only one in here, so it would have to be a relief that you can do alone. Got some fantastic movie posters hanging around. I don't know, it's very interesting. The game has like a super retro feel, like like it's, it, it was made for the 80s, you know what I mean? Like all the colors and stuff like that. Welcome to the bio tank. This is where all the goo soup sits. I find it interesting that this lady is like everywhere. Like this is the lounge and she's still here. I don't know where you get your, your Bud Light from or whatever you get in space, but the lounge is a big ass area. Their fall damage? Nope. Okay, so now we're on one of the lower levels. This is what I was talking about, man. These, uh, another biotech. I don't know why I put these over here. I think I just felt like I wanted to throw them wherever I could. The beaming station. I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm kind of curious where the hell it goes to. Oh, I, it's it's like a lotto. You, you never really know until you get out. Let's go to this one, I guess. I'm getting some real, like, Star Wars vibes here. Oh, you get to see the rest of the ship from the inside. That's pretty... Holy Jesus, the ship is big. So here's all the quarters that we had made. This lady is famous. She's in every single quarter. Just getting my cardio in, trying to get back to where we were so that we can go down to a planet and blow some stuff up. Just making a crap ton of turrets because we can. Notice how our, um, our download speed is like from 1991. If you want to, you can actually click on the buttons yourself and it speeds things up. Thank you, Jesus, for adding this to the game devs. I think there's a clone. Air it is. Okay, I need to make some more people. Okay, hi. So one of the things that you can do is you, like, kill creatures and shop back up their DNA. You can learn how to make all these different creatures over here. Like this arachnoid and these crawl and whatever the hell this is. They all have, like, different abilities and they breathe, like, different atmospheres and stuff like that. Right now, we just have the sad human, which in, like, every game ever is always the crappiest. There's our boy. Comes right out of the womb, full, fully geared and everything. You don't have to go through the younger years, no rebellious phase or anything like that. He's just right out there. His name's Baron? Hold on. There you go, buddy. Continue onward, my friend. This guy's name is Minsky? Uh, sure. I always like to keep a healthy number of turrets everywhere because aliens have a tendency to, like, come on board and make people's lives a living hell. I feel much more protected now that there's like four laser guided turrets running around here. All right, let's go to a friggin' planet and get some plants because apparently that's like the most important thing that we need right now. Okay, so there's a palm tree over here. Great. Nemlier is just Florida in space. So I guess we'll go ahead and uh, hyperdrive our way over here and then uh, rip it out of the ground and bring it back over to the ship. All right, boys, everyone on the ship. Where the hell's the other person? There should be two. Oh crap, hold on. That was a quick abort, man. I just had enough time. Where? We haven't even gone anywhere. Frame. Hazard impact on corridor. What in the hell is going on out here? What corridor? Keep them alive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Abort the launch. What the hell is going on over here? Harry Dang just exploded. Jesus. Impact on the, on the beaming station. Okay. This is getting out of hand. They're like all over the hull of the... What the hell? They're like all over the hull of the ship. <laughs> I can hear them all over the ship, man. All right, whatever. We're getting the palm tree and then we're getting the hell out of here. Everyone on a damn ship. Welcome everyone to Rogue Commander. The only game where like six billion life forms have been detected and I don't know where the hell they are. I told you we would do something insane and go to the most dangerous place in the universe. Wow. What a friggin' paradise. Put a couple of these down. Here we go. Okay. See, normally you start with like crappy life forms that can't even defend themselves, but we're starting off with the kick-ass life forms. Found the plants. I don't even want to know what's attacking my people right now. It sounds pretty friggin' bad though. Jesus. All right, harvester's full. Everyone get inside the friggin'. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's how they appear. Look at the bodies go flying. <laughs> it's like giant ragdoll bodies. This is awesome. Woo. Give me all your meat. We get two more samples. I think that we'll be able to uh, have those guys as a clone. Our harvest still full of everything else. We could still get a couple more clone samples though. I don't know if the turrets can shoot through the energy barriers or not. I kind of figured that they'd be able to just because that would, you know, like this way they could be protected. Sweet. We're getting the hell out of here. Screw this place. 
had to get those last few hits in on those poor guys. They don't even do anything. They just like loom around. I don't even know if they attack you. They're just like giant state puff marshmallow people. Life form detected. Yeah, I got it. All right, sometimes all the problems are detected underneath the floorboard. So that's why I'm checking real quick in the access tunnels. Actually, you know what? We're getting the hell out of here. Screw this place. Life form detected. Oh, Jesus! I found what got onto the friggin' ship! Uh, okay, cool. I'm gonna put this here. How do you feel about that? Does that piss you off? I can definitely shoot through this. Bastards are tough, too. Get off my friggin' ship! Damn, busting all my sh** up! Luckily, these things have no combat skills. Here, watch. The only thing they're good at is just standing there and dying. What the hell are you creatures? I don't even know if I want to assimilate you. Clone sample human two. These are humans as well. Power shotgun. Did I break the game or what the hell's going on here? Are they acting like they're supposed to or? Get wrecked. Oh, for the love of God. I found out where they all are. <laughs> Promotion. <laughs> this poor random bastard. <laughs> Yeah, give me all the turrets. I'm the only guy I know that could get his friggin' ship boarded by about a hundred aliens in the first ten minutes of the game. There we go. One down. I think there's like a hundred of them inside of the friggin' greenhouse over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I told you this place would be like the slums. These guys go through the, my entire area, busting up all my friggin' crap. Shut up. They're all hanging out in the lounge, drinking all my alcohol. All right. I'm putting these things everywhere. So the plan I've been waiting on has finally been uh, moved over into storage so I can use it now. Yay. I think the problem here is the uh, the ship isn't big enough yet. So we're going to go ahead and fix that real quick. More apartment buildings. All the apartment buildings. And if you can't fit them, turn them the other way and thrust them in that way. There we go. Perfect. And of course, a couple of bars. Actually, as many bars as I can possibly fit together. I wonder if I can make this all lounge. <laughs> Oh my god, you can. I told you it would be ridiculously inefficient, but whatever. So this is what the ship looks like now. This one area over here on the side is just all lounges. It's just all bars and lounges because why not? I can't even tell you how far this ship wraps around at this point. I have no idea. I'm not really about uh, efficiency. So since we have so much space, we'll just protect it with overwhelming firepower. So I said we would try and get ourselves killed because I don't think a lot of people are going to do that. There's a thing over here called sunstorms. I want to know what it does, so let's hyper jump there. All right, so what's it like having sunstorms? Pretty orange out. <laughs> Hazard impact on the corridor. Ship energy flow. Okay. Maintenance shutdown turbo lift. Okay, so it's not too great to be here. Module collapsed corridor. Jesus Christ. Oh, there it is. So the sunstorms just kind of like melt your ship, I guess. Okay. Uh, the beaming station just shut down as well. That's not good. Anything else want to blow up while I'm here? Okay, I think stuff is done blowing up right now. All I want is to get a tree. That's it. Get on the damn space. Oh, <laughs> your ass almost got caught in between the garage closer there, buddy. Everyone inside of the harvester. We're going to get the most important resource in the entire universe. A plant. This is probably the nicest planet that we've been on. Lithium, don't care about that. Where's my, where's my plant? Oh, those are nothing. Little spider things. Here we go. It doesn't even look like a plant. It's just, I don't know if it's just like a bunch of seeds on a rock. It just kind of looks like baby vomit. Glowing baby vomit all over the rocks. Oh, cool. Now I can have something that's not human anymore. Okay, that's a lot of spiders. I like to put the clone lab right next to the bar. The first thing anyone can do after they get made is to take a drink. Oh, Jesus. What else is wandering around here? Hold on. Let me see if I can make a new clone. Is that a piece of a person? Why is there just a sad head here? What the hell? Biosphere leak. Biosphere leak. I'm sure it'll be fine. So we can make one of either of these. Yeah, this one has a massive body. I'm kind of curious about it. Eh, what the hell? Let's do it. I don't know what's happening right now on the ship, but like the entire ship is falling to pieces. Okay, stuff is starting to blow up now. There's no crew cabins left. Are we like under attack by another ship or something? While the uh, ship is blowing up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this second to uh, plant this plant because it seems important at the time. Everyone in the hangar is still fine. Oh, I have to have a biosphere of that type. That makes sense. Let's get a, let's get a bunch of these guys going because I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more dudes. Don't worry about me just typing in uh, height, weight, and age, and sex, and all that sort of thing. I don't know. Everything looks like it's okay. I'm going to keep making this, this ship a little bit bigger. 
I'm gonna put a corridor through here too, just because. There we go. A couple of greenhouses, because that's how we do. Actually, I'm gonna put a balls ton of greenhouses down, like as many as I can possibly shove in here. Need more bio tanks and more quarters too to make it more like the uh, the slums. Put a couple lounges down to keep everyone nice and drunk. And uh, yeah, this is what the ship looks like now. This is what the mastermind engineer has managed to create so far. Oh, I can shove another fern in. Fantastic. All right. So our ship is miles and miles long. The game is roguelike, so you can do whatever the hell you want in it. I just decided to do some random stuff and get hit by a bunch of sunbeams and get boarded by a ton of... Hi. How are you? How are you just going to interrupt or... Okay. You know, uh, get boarded by a bunch of aliens and uh, shoot at a bunch of giant Stay puff Marshmallow things and then take their DNA and eventually, uh, you know, evolve a person to live on the, uh, the, the spaceship. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Genesis Alpha 1. Till the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>